SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. This is uh, the Wall Street area from the East River. This is the Citibank building. I was here on September 11, 2001 before being bombed out from my happy job as a database designer and SQL programmer. Let's um, import an Excel worksheet into the database using the SSIS import export wizard. Let's check out the worksheet prior to importing it. This is the Excel worksheet which we are going to import. Actually, this was exported from the purchase order detail uh, table and this is the name of the Excel file. If we click on the first column we can see that there are 8,846 lines in this uh, spreadsheet. So let's close it and um, we are ready to import it. To launch the SSIS Import Export Wizard, we right click on AdventureWorks 2012, Tasks, and Import Data. If we select Export, it doesn't make too much difference. We just have to make sure that we set the destination and uh, the source correctly. It is the same program. Import Data. So our data source is not going to be SQL Server. Our data source is going to be a Microsoft Excel file. And the name of the file is on the F drive temp folder and it's called POD XLS. First row has column names. Next. This is our destination. We use Windows authentication. Copy data from one or more tables or views. And we pick the first one. And the destination is going to be the same name. There won't be any conflict because uh, the schema name is DBO as opposed to purchasing. But we can change it if we want it. We can just change it to POD. Edit mappings. So, we see some uh, problems with mapping. For example, we should go to integer. Same for purchase order. Detail ID. Order quantity also integer. Product ID is also integer. Receive quantity integer. And rejected quantity integer. Stock quantity integer.
and it should not be nullable same for purchase order detail id we can add it to a sql as well this is a table create okay let's uh, preview the data let's scroll across it looks okay next so we are ready to carry out the import we have some yellow warnings let's check out one of the warnings double click so there's lots of information here but hopefully it's going to be okay next next finish so it's uh, in progress and it has been successful well that is a very happy occasion let's check out the table and indeed there are 8845 rows we have a red squiggly from IntelliSense there is an easy way to get rid of the red squiggly what we have to do is go to edit IntelliSense and refresh local cache now IntelliSense knows that this table exists and similarly the column in the table exists as well so let's just check out the data just a little inspection everything uh, looks okay looks like a good transfer we can scroll down in summary the SSIS import export wizard is a very excellent tool for data transfer in um, particular it is an excellent tool to import data from uh, Excel into a SQL Server 2012 database or export data from a SQL Server 2012 database into an Excel file. It is important that we pay attention to mapping of the columns because uh, Excel data types are different from SQL Server T-SQL data types. In case we don't get the column mapping right, we still have a chance to change it in the database itself. As long as the data is there, we can change the column data type in a SQL Server. In fact, two ways we can change it by script or we can change it using the graphical interface in SQL Server Management Studio Object Explorer. This is uh, the end of the short demo.